So I'm, I'm living up to the title of this um, channel, and that is my messy workbench. And you can see I'm fairly disorganized at this point in time. But before I do what I'm going to be doing in this next video, I actually need to straighten up a little bit. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, well, this is a little better, but I'm sure within, uh, you know, five or ten minutes, it'll be one big mess again. That's just how I work. So, uh, we're going to continue on here. Um, I had to clean up the, the 43 pickup that I've been working on. I'm sorry, not the 40, the 34 pickup that I've been working on. Because... Um, I want to finish a little bit of that on this video, but then... I've got another video I want to make for the 32 Ford Appreciation Build that's being sponsored by uh, Kim's Custom Garage. So uh, let's start looking at the motor that I'm working on for the for the 34 pickup. Okay, so since last time I uh, I took the motor and I did do the exhaust pipes that are on the, the like the exhaust manifold which wrap around the bottom and then over to the other side I just did those in like a desert yellow I think it was um, they're not finished yet because you know as much effort as I'm putting in this motor uh, I am going to be dirtying it up quite a bit <laughs> um, also I used some model master steel on um, on this guy over here and I did find out that that is a, an electric starter so uh, I was surprised that they had an electric starter on a 34 so uh, anyway I did that in steel and I'm about ready to do the valve covers I, I finished up the valve covers this is going to be hard to hold I think What I did with the valve covers, as I showed you in the other video, was that I did the bolt heads in silver, and I just did the spark plugs in just some white. Actually, it was like an off-white. So I did that to get that ready. And again, I put a lot of effort in because I'm not very stable anymore, you know, steady anymore at my age. Um, but anyway, and also I drink a tremendous amount of coffee. So anyway, uh, I want to get these on. I want to get these these valve covers on, and also I want to get the the intake manifold on. And um, when I do that, I'll be right back. As you can see, I like using regular model glue and not the, the um, like a Loctite or a Gorilla Glue. And that's why you see that I had areas that are not painted. Because the model glue naturally will not stick real well where there's paint. Okay, and then we'll let that glue set up. I see I'm going to have some touch-up to do, but that's okay too. 
and I'm going to wait to put the, um, the belt on because I'm going to have to scrape some paint. All right, so I'm going to put this aside for now, and then I want to I'm going to break out and do a different video, and I'll be back later. Okay, if you remember from the previous video, I, I had said that I really do not like this radiator that came with the, the uh, 34 pickup. And I want to take this tank off and, and replace it with a different type of tank that looks more realistic. Um, I guess because I come from an engineering background, in fact, I spent 47 years of my life in engineering, in various engineering trades, I want to draw, or I'm going to draw and measure the, you know, the actual size of this radiator and also like where the, where the, the, the radiator hoses would eventually go. So I'm just going to sketch it. I keep an engineering notebook. I got used to doing that back in, oh, 1974-ish or 5-ish when I worked for IBM, and they actually required it uh, as, a, as an employee. So uh, I'm just going to sketch this real quick just so I can put some dimensions on it. And this is something you don't have to do, but I'll tell you what, I got so used to doing this that um, it's, it's just a habit I've gotten into, and I, I don't know that you can see, I'll see if I can put this on camera more, and I'm doing it in pencil, so you might not be able to see it anyway, um, but anyway, so I'm going to make some measurements on here. I use a, a dial caliper. And I got to tell you, I really like this dial caliper. This is an 8-inch dial caliper. Uh, it's, it's made by Anytime Tool. But what I like about it is that it gives you readings in English or in inches and in millimeters off the same dial at the same time. I really like that. So many times I'm, I've got a kit or I've got something that I'm doing that's all in millimeters and you know with just an inch one then i'm always doing the conversions and yeah it's not hard but boy this is this is nice to read direct so you read it directly off so i just want to get the the overall length of this radiator let me get on camera here though <laughs> okay and this is measuring 0 0.627 0 0.627 inches And I can get the millimeters right off of that, which is looking to be 11.93. The next thing I want to do is measure the thickness of this tank. I'm sorry if I'm not on camera. Is measure the thickness of the tank. And that's at 0.139. So the thickness of this tank is 0.139, which is 3.51, 3.51 millimeters. And the real important thing that I want is the spacing of the centers of these uh, radiator hoses. And I'm just going to guesstimate that. I'm, I'm just gonna put the, the use the uh, the horns and try to get a, a a center to center reading on that. There's I could take the time and measure the radius and all that, but it's not that important. And that's about center to center. So center to center on these radiator hoses is about 0 0.4 0 0.483 which is 
12.27 millimeters and let's see how far they are up from the bottom and to do that I'll just again use the I'll use the, the inside readers and I'll just again estimate about center and that's about right and let me mark that down and that is 0.7 2 0.772 which is about 20 it's probably about 19 point six two millimeters okay so that gives me a good idea of um, that oh let me get an overall length yet so just from top to bottom and we get 0.888 so overall from here to here is 0.888 inches and that's 22.12 22.12 millimeters okay so I've got those measurements taken and uh, that should be sufficient for what I want to do so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this tank off so I'm gonna cut this tank off like I had described in the previous video and I'm gonna cut it off up right in there and then I'm gonna put a new tank I'm gonna make a new tank on and and glue it on the top there I have to also make sure that it fits into the front radiator housing of this model because it fits in here something like that sorry this is very difficult to hold and and uh, keep it on camera so it fits in that housing so I got to make sure everything fits within that housing and then I got to figure out what to do on the bottom to and how I'm gonna fasten the radiator hoses on the bottom which this doesn't even um, allow for and I believe I looked at some photographs of some actual radiators from 1934 I believe there's a small tank but I'm gonna have to check to see whether I've got clearances to, to actually do that if not I'm gonna have to make some more modifications to this all right so that's where I'm headed with this I'm gonna cut that tank off and I'll be back after I have that finished